thing from him that I just completely like missed out on was that he's a rookie. You know, even though like it's not smart for him to be playing this season because he's still trying to recover from his injury. Yeah. The fact that he's a rookie and that he actually needs the playing time, like to get kind of used to it, used yeah. to the league. So that, that's just something that I completely like blanked out on. That's why like I got okay, but what's your thoughts about Lakers adding Markeith Morris? Alright, so, so you're done with your part, like, overall, you like the thing, you, you think that we got him for free, and, like, you know, we didn't have to lose anybody, like, what's your thoughts? I think the Lakers didn't make any moves in trade deadline because they don't want to ruin the chemistry, you know, like, why trading everyone when you got the first place, everyone's getting well, used to it? Chemistry thing. Yeah, but when I when I researched the Lakers, I kind of figured out, man, this team has good chemistry, so I can agree why Lakers didn't make any trade. But as I was saying, though, so about Marky Morris, like I told you, I think he's a little bit better than Marcus Morris, in my opinion, because Marky, if he can shoot, he can play defense. One thing you never see Marcus Morris that Marky could actually play down low. He can, he's got some post moves, too. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. I think it's the chemistry that's no, the reason no, why Lakers won't break it. No, I, I swear I went to YouTube and people were like, the chemistry is damn too good, dude. That's the reason why they didn't make any trade. Well, well, I don't know what channels you're going to, but maybe some of the diehard Lakers fans would say that. But I was saying that before the trade deadline even started, I would say this team has good chemistry. You're going to have to be very careful if you want to make any moves. Okay, so um Yeah, he's thirty one, he's six eight, he's two forty five, he plays small from par four, and the reason why I like this dude on the Lakers cause he could definitely become a good back position for LeBron, you know, and this guy plays good defense and he's also another good spot up shooter. He pretty much has everything, dude. And this is a major upgrade because a good thing that they didn't need to go after Marcus Morris, but they reversed it by going after his brother, Marquise, you know, by convincing Detroit Hey, buy me out, dude, because I want to compete against my brother because he went to a different L.A. team, so let me go to the Lakers, and I guess Detroit might let him go. Yeah, well, Detroit's in a building. They're trying to rebuild, so... I know, that's what I'm saying. They already gave away Andre Drummond, their best rebounder. They gave away Reggie Jackson, their best player, even though he didn't play a lot. Now they gave away Markeith Morris. Now there's rumors that they're trying to trade Derrick Rose for two first-round, second-round picks, whatever you call it. Six eight. How old is his brother? Thirty three. No, he's older. Thirty three. Oh, oh really? Marcus yeah. Morris? Yeah, like Morris? when he was with the Celtics, they call him Marcus Morris Senior, which means he's older, like above thirty three, thirty four. Okay, that's really interesting. I I had no idea for some reason. Uh, I don't. I'm not too familiar with those guys. I was never really a fan of either of those players. I always thought Marcus Morris was the younger one. I don't know, man, because I, I heard that, you know, Marcus Morris is older. That's what they call him, senior. Oh, wait, so, so you don't even know for sure? Or is it, is it guessing, or? No, I'm pretty sure Marcus Morris is older, dude. Okay. Well, like I said, Mar I, don't, I don't know, because I don't really follow this guy. Uh, okay, so my opinion. Um... Oh, shit, no, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. They're both 30 years old. No, they're both born as September 2, bro. Okay, yeah, but what year? September 2, both of them, dude. September 2 is the month. I'm saying what year? 1989, both of them, dude. They're literally twins. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Okay. So technically... Oh, yeah. So technically... Yeah, I was shocked. I'm like, what? They're both born on September 2, and... 
And basically, they're going to become 31 exactly together as September 2. So basically, no one's older, but I would say they're the same, so. Okay, so um, I'm looking at it right now. So, Marquis Beveridge, 11 with the um, Detroit Pistons, sh shooting 45% from field goal, 3.9 rebounds, 1.6. His career-wise is 11 points, so I'm going to look up Marcus Morris right now. Yeah, well, Marcus Morris averaged 90 points this year, but that's with the terrible near Knicks, so I'm not going to count that. I know, but the, but the Knicks, it's like there was nobody on that team that was like, you know, a star or, or like, you know, an all-star or, or, you know, just someone on that level where everybody could just like, you know, just jack up shots. Like, they didn't care. On the Pistons, it was different. You had Drummond, you had, you know, Blake Griffin there. Like, like you had people there that uh, were kind of like, you know, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like they had more of a veteran status. Like they were gonna be the ones to uh, um, to make all these moves. I don't know, dude. I think they're about the same in my opinion. But if I have to, if I have to choose, um, I would go with Markeith because Markeith got some pretty good down low moves, though. The only thing with Marcus Morris is that he's just a good shooter and good defender. Pretty much, Markeith has the same thing, but. Markeith has one thing that Marcus Morris doesn't have, which is posting in the scoring pane inside a post. Yeah. Yeah. But he's definitely a good wing defender, so if they can convince, you know, a buyout from near Knicks so they can go after Mo Harkless, then that would be good because Mo Harkless can shoot little. He's a good defender. He could be a good backup power four position for AD. And then you cut Troy Daniels and Jared Dudley, and then you either sign J.R. Smith or Deion Wayers. So there you go. We got two good sharpshooters, though. Oh shit, no, Mark, no, Mark, 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 he was 6'10", dude. Okay, 6'10", yeah. So I like the signing. We, we had to do something uh, to get a little bit, you know, better. We were always missing like a piece or two. Uh, so, so I like the signing. Uh, I'm not too big on, you know, either of the Morris brothers. 
Um, even, you know, when, when we were trying to, trying to get that Marcus one, like, I wasn't too big on it, especially for the pieces that we, we were trying to give up. I'm glad that we didn't do that one because you said it perfectly. We literally got his brother who uh, plays essentially, you know, the same as him. Maybe not as, as good as Marcus.